All right, squirrels. It's time to show you that crabs are superior. I'll bite you so hard, your pinchers will go soft. What's that about soft pinchers, squirrel? Jay, we're supposed to be working together here. Excuse me while I go find a dryer sheet. On the table, building some Lego today, the Ninjago movie, set number 70614, finally, the lightning jet. 876 pieces with six minifigures. On the back of this very wide box, the lightning jet lands to a street fight. I see a pretty substantial dart shooting out of the front of this ship, 44 centimeters, 17 inches wide. Inside the box, wide set of instructions, some stickers, interesting wheel, couple wingy dings, bag of pieces number one, number two, three, four, five, Six and seven. Seven bags of pieces. Uh, 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 uh. Let's begin by working on a Garmadon Minion Crab vehicle. Is this my new custom sofa? There's sure a lot of buttons in here. I think that you're going to have to make this a little more softer. And please, I like the color light blue, not regular blue.
there we go, the super impressive Jay's Lightning Jet. Jay, that vehicle is spiky amazing. What do you say about that? I know, awesome, right? Gotta close the cover now. Safe move, Jay. Oh, you dropped your spiky flail -y thing. So a very impressive Lightning Jet here, beating all my expectations of it. Whoops, sorry Jelly. Have we seen this figure before? Maybe. We have Edna and Ed here. Or was that Ed and Edna? Some minifigures to rescue. And let's get this other shark army thug out of the way. And we have Krusty's Crab Crawler here. Finally, a Garmadon minion vehicle that comes with the Corn and Jago vehicle packs. I kind of wish we saw more things like this with some of the others. But I kind of understand if the ice tank needs pieces, the ice tank needs pieces. This crab vehicle has adjustable legs. This cool pincher. And one of those cool rapid fire stud shooters. Fun little attacker to play with. But it's all about the lightning jet and its spikiness, antenna-ness, pointiness, eye lanciness. Where to start? It looks really hard to handle with all these pointy things and adjustable wings. Luckily we have a comfort grip handle on the back here so that we can grab onto it. That is pretty important because there's a lot of things on this thing you worry about breaking off and picking up. Uh, and also a nice feature, when we pull this trigger on the bottom we get a rotating electro disc up top. And don't ask me how the mechanics worked on that, I wasn't really paying attention. And all of a sudden I'm like, wow, that's a really spiffy action feature. So kind of neat. Pretty springy for Lego. Then up front we have a shooting dart. I think it accesses by this little red piece down here. Oh, there we go. Just took out a light. So that's a nice little feature. Would have been cool to have a couple extra darts. And then we just have a ton of articulating, rotating, moving wings and such. We can move these around. Ironically, these wings up here remind me of sharks. And uh, they're fighting the shark army, so. That's kind of funny how that turned out. We can open and close these little pretend lightning shooters. And all along the outside of the wings we have all these antenna which you can kind of rotate and move around how you like them. Uh, just impressive on those. Uh, just watch your eyes, maybe put some goggles on when playing with this. And then we have these really cool engine thrusters back here too which you can noodle around with and get into your favorite spots. Uh, there's just hinges and things everywhere on this thing. It's really, really incredible ship. A really nice blue and I would imagine these can pretend to shoot off as well. Uh, piping going on between the wings here looks really nice. Uh, great use of sticker balance. There's not too many on here. Sometimes stickers get overloaded. Uh, these were just about right. Uh, no flags on this ship. Some of the other vehicles, like the fire mech and the ice tank, and I think even the water strider had some flaggage. Uh, but there's no flags on this, but you know, it's a flyer, so that would probably be bad. Just a beautiful ship. I'm trying to figure out what took me so long to build it. Wow, that's awesome! Oh, that's right. For some reason, when these sets first came out, I looked at the new Lightning Jet and I thought, didn't I just build that? It looks so similar to the triangle shape of the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. But it turns out they are way more farther unsimilar than they are similar, so I probably shouldn't have waited so long to build. On the other hand, these sets are pretty expensive, so it's something you kind of have to pick and choose your favorites and slowly build throughout the months. I think if I had never built the Milano though, I probably would have done the Lightning Jet sooner because it is spectacular. Well, of course it is. It costs way more than my Milano. See you later! Are you going to make poor Gamora and Baby Groot ride on the outside this whole time? Anyhow, back to the Lightning Jet. A really spectacular build, pretty technical. It's amazing how much Technic Legos and Lego has forged together over the years. But I think the bag build system worked well with this set. Everything was equally divided pretty well and made for an entertaining construction. So if you're looking for a very pointy spiky build, look no further than the Lightning Jet. Sheets, I guess. 
Lego, the Ninjago movie, Lightning Jet appears on store shelves way back, what was that, September 1st, 2017. The construction set runs around 60, and with 876 pieces, a large core vehicle and a small vehicle makes for very electrical entertaining play. If you like rubbing your socks around on the carpet, perhaps carrying this vehicle with you will increase the charge of your attack. However, if you have fluffy tail syndrome, proceed immediately to the laundry room and find those dryer sheets. That's what I have to say about that. A squirrel's nest built from dryer sheets and lint make for the best winter hibernations. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Yeah. These things are so cozy.